How's it going guys? We are back in another video here. I know people always ask, how do you win face off? So uh, the last time I made a video uh, was uh, I believe on NHL 22 and face off. So they're pretty much the same, but uh, you know, I always give a refresher for all you guys. And I know, you know what? If you guys need the help, I'll definitely help you guys out. I'll try to explain it better than I did even in NHL 22. And I'm gonna go basically over the, all the ways you can win face offs and the counters. Leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, let's hop into it right now. All right, so before we get started, I wanna mention something right now as well, guys. A very important thing, okay? Face offs can be a bit of RNG. So here's how it works, right? So face off rating is a big factor as well. So essentially, uh, if you're gonna go straight back, back and straight back against someone, you guys do the same. If you guys do the same exact face off, whoever has the highest rating will win the face off. Okay, that's just something to keep in mind right away before we get into other like counters and specifics of all of that. But let's uh, let's hop into it now. All right. So essentially, guys, when you load up, you get into a face off here. If you line up on their back, if, if uh, your opponent lines up on their backhand when it comes to a face off, here's what's gonna happen. Okay. So. The counters to that are this. So, for example, say your opponent is me, Jack Hughes, okay? I'm Jack Hughes is, is, the, is the player going for the backhand, all right? So, you hold your right stick to the right to hold it for a backhand, and that's what the, that's what the opponent's doing. To counter that, uh, you have three options, all right? So, the first one is to go straight back, all right? The counter is a forehand or backhand tie-up, okay? That's the counter to someone who's going backhand straight back, okay? So you essentially uh, go forehand, okay? And, and, and again, you move your left stick. So for example, your right stick, sorry. Uh, if you're a lefty, to the left, right? At the forehand. If you're a righty, you put it towards the right, okay? So that is how you counter a backhand straight back. Uh, the other thing now is if someone goes for a backhand stick lift, the counter to that is a forehand stick lift or a backhand straight back, okay? So uh, that is the way to counter just a regular backhand stick lift. You do a forehand stick lift, which again, basically you hold your forehand to the left, your, your right stick to the left, which is a forehand, and you basically do a lift but forehand addition or you do backhand straight back to counter that. The other thing is the tie-up. So if someone's going for a backhand tie-up, guys, the way to counter that is doing a backhand stick lift or a forehand straight back, all right? So uh, again, pretty self-explanatory. Uh, you obviously, you know, you go forehand. Again, it's, it's, it's a lot of mind games, guys, face-offs. I mean, it really is. Face-offs... There's definitely a bit of RNG to it. Sometimes pink can also be a factor, but you're also just kind of guessing what your opponent's thinking, right? So like if, if I'm noticing a guy is trying to tie up all the time, I mean, obviously I'll be, I'll be doing a uh, backhand sick lift. Like, I mean, obviously, right? It's kind of, you, you gotta do it, right? Uh, or, uh, you know, again, like it's only in the situation like, oh, power play, he's, he's tying up in the ozone all the time. All right, well, I'll make sure I do the backhand sick lift in the ozone, right? Like you kind of learn tendencies of what your player is doing, your opponent is doing. Uh, that's kind of the biggest key to, to face off really is, is mind games and just trying to kind of outsmart, I guess, your opponent. That's really what it comes down to for that. Well, guys, that's really all the counters to backhand face offs, right? You have three different ways to do it. So again, as I mentioned, uh, straight back, if you're going backhand, if they're going backhand straight back, your counter is a forehand or backhand tie up. Uh, if they go for a stick lift, uh, the counter to that is a forehand stick lift or a backhand straight back. And then the third option is a tie up, which can be counted with a backhand stick lift or a forehand straight back. Next thing here is when a player lines up on their forehand, they also have three options, okay? So uh, basically what you can do uh, is a forehand straight back. So obviously if you try to, you know, you hold your left stick, uh, your right stick again towards the left of, if you're a lefty again, that's a forehand as you're seeing with Jack Hughes. The counter to that can be a backhand stick lift or a forehand stick lift. So actually in this this uh, scene right here, you can see he's gripping the backhand, the Islanders player. So in other words here, if they go backhand stick lift here, they will, they will counter my forehand straight back, okay? So that's... Uh, that's the counters right there for forehand straight back is a counter is a backhand stick lift or a forehand stick lift. What you can do is a forehand stick lift. The counter to that would be a backhand straight back. All right. So if you try to win it forehand, all right, you try, you try to go forehand stick lift, 
you hold a forehand and then you do a stick lift of, of that with forehand. The counter to that is a backhand straight back. So that's what the Islanders player would have to do is a backhand straight back in that situation. Last but not least is a four up forehand tie up. Okay, so the forehand tie up. Uh, again, if I'm, just, I'm holding the forehand and I push up on my left stick, on um, my left stick, again that's how you win. You win uh, face off like tie up. Obviously, you push up on the on the left stick as well. Uh, forehand tie up. The counter is a backhand stick lift or a forehand straight back to that. All right. So as I mentioned, uh, if you do forehand tie up here, they can easily do a backhand stick lift. In other words, guys, I'm a big believer in pretty much just always lining up backhand on faceoffs. I typically always do that. I really don't do forehand uh, ever, honestly, on faceoffs. Very, very rarely I'll do that. Uh, I just don't think it's, to me, really as effective. But again, that's kind of all the faceoff stuff you really need to know, guys. Uh, it's uh, pretty basic here. I'll put it up on the screen here as well, guys. Kind of kind of uh, all, all we really need to know about it and uh, exactly how it works, all right? And just kind of a quick rundown, all right? So uh, this is how it works, uh, all of it right here. You guys see it right there. You want to take a picture of it. Kind of just remember all of that. That is kind of how it works. Those are the different options, okay, guys? So hope I helped you guys out with some face-offs. I apologize if I'm a little bit confusing. If you have any questions, please comment down below. Sometimes I'm pretty bad at explaining things. I have to admit I did get help with this video. Shout out to my, my man b Wubs for this. He definitely helped me out. Uh, trying to put it into words better. Uh, I mean, again, face off, I've been doing it my whole life. It's kind of muscle memory. I don't really think about it. I kind of know what the counters are for the most part. But again, getting it all in words, there it is. Any questions, please comment down below. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this video though. And hopefully it helped, of course. That's the most important thing as well. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you guys did enjoy, make sure you do leave a like, subscribe if you have not already. And I, again, I hope it really helped you guys out. Make sure you do follow me on Twitch, Henry. Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Henry get three E's, and make sure to join my Discord to talk to me, followers, and subscribers of the channel. As always, I'll see you guys in the next one.